I'm in the garage today. Y'all see Grizz back there. Look, uh, y'all know a lot of times when I'm fishing, I'll tell y'all it's me and my G3. But guess what? Today is a day that we're gonna do some upgrades on my boat. Y'all can come along with us for this transformation. Currently right now, I run a Humminbird uh, 10 side imaging and down imaging on my console. And up front here, what I was running was a seven inch Humminbird down imaging right here, based on a three inch um, deck mount. But we're gonna change all that now. My buddy from Hook City, Ken, he convinced me finally to go with LiveScope. So guess what? We're gonna change my Humminbird boat to now a Garmin boat, LiveScope. So um, y'all stay tuned as we show you what we got going on. All right, y'all, from front to back. A couple years ago, I put on this Minn Kota Edge. Um, this boat is a 16 and a half foot um, aluminum boat. I love it, it's been a great boat for me. It's a 2005, you all. It's been the real deal. So um, there have been some modifications on my boat, of course. Um, I've actually recarpeted back in 2015. Um, I actually came back after I recarpeted it, well, while I, while I recarpeted it, I actually had it reupholstered because I wanted some better looking seats. Um, in Virginia, I actually had to keep it outside and I don't know, I just haven't had any experience, any great experience you all with actually keeping a boat outside with a cover on it and it doesn't leak or at least have condensation. So um, when I recarpeted, I keep my boat now in the garage so it does take up a space in my garage but thankfully it has this pull away as you all can see it pulls away and it fits in my garage awesome so you know i have it back there you all can see it it comes right where it should be it's a perfect setup for me so again this has been a great boat but again all right what we got going on today so today um i do have my trolling motor um it's a min it's a Minn Kota edge 55 foot thrust is 12 volt um it has been great i put it in a couple years ago this boat actually came with a 45 I upgraded to a 55 pound thrust but and i also had this um transducer installed on it for the down imaging all right so all of this is going i am actually going with check it out y'all a garmin force trolling motor 50 inch length, 24, 36 volt, as you all can see in a 100 pound thrust, scissor mount. You all, I'm looking forward to this thing. This has actually anchor lock and all that on it. And I'm just looking forward to seeing how this thing works for me. I know it'll make this boat fly, being that it's a 16 foot boat. But hey, I wanted to have anchor lock and I did not want to go with the Ultrax, all right? Also, you all see it. That's that Panoptics live scope system that's forward and down looking sonar system with the mountain hardware and man oh man i came back you all from a seven inch to a 12 inch screen oh my goodness the fish are in trouble ain't that right grid oh, in oh. trouble baby so guess what now we're gonna come back i want us to have since i might have a uh, grizz or or a stump or a jug looking over my shoulder we're going to change this from a three inch mount to a seven inch mount we're going to see how that works if that does not work for us we might have to go even higher but it's okay we just we're trying it for now we're going to a seven inch mount instead of a three inch so we're going to see how we're going to mount that this um this head <clears throat> on that seven inch my buddy's suggestion i mean i've seen his work we went with a 24 volt battery you all and I went with Amped Outdoors. I got this Amped Outdoors 24 volt battery. Let me turn this thing around so you can see. But this is one battery that's 24 volts. I mean, you all, I didn't want to put a whole lot of more weight in my boat so I could actually replace a battery and put this one battery in. It's 50 amp hours. That Garmin Force uses about three amp hours. Um, so the 50 amp hours i believe is going to be fine for me the thing about amped outdoors they come with 
the actual charger. <clears throat> so I love that about them because of course you can't charge your regular your lithium battery with your gel battery charger or your regular battery charger amped outdoors charger all right so this is how we can keep that thing fresh and ready to go all right um we've been waiting you all um we've been waiting on this thing here so we're gonna open this for you all right this is uh from tackle shack you all uh pull mount and of course this is gonna mount to the shaft of my Garmin force motor and I can actually use it independently so it'll turn by itself so you all see more of that I'm not gonna take it too much because I have um, a good buddy that's gonna do my install for me all right y'all as you see this is this tackle shack and the Garmin force model it'll actually attach right to the shaft of my Garmin force motor that's what I wanted you all I can use my live scope and I could use my anchor um, lock or some people call it a spot lock but I think Garmin calls it anchor lock. Um, I can use that as that head of my trolling motor moves, my transducer does not. That's what I wanted you all. So I wanted some, some ability to have, I did not have a 12 volt connections in my boat. So I went with this 12 volt marine connection. Um, so I'm gonna change all of that too. I'm gonna mount that in my console. I wanted the regular cigarette lighter 12 volt one, as you all know what this is, you know. Also, I wanted this beside it. I'm gonna let Grizz open that for you. That's the USB, you all. So you actually have two USB ports on that thing and they will both mount in this, all right? So it's gonna be really nice. So I'm thinking when you upgrade, you may as well do what you gotta do. I'm gonna, give, I'm gonna show my boat some love because it has shown me some love throughout the years. I'm tell you what, I'm excited. I'm excited. I'm excited. Hopefully tomorrow we can get all of this stuff installed and I'll show you as it gets installed. Y'all stay tuned because we're going to show you our first fish on live scope. If you know anybody looking for a down image in hummingbird, uh, just let me know. And if you know somebody looking for a very good Minn Kota trolling motor, I mean, we're good to go. Listen, she ready to go. I mean, nothing to worry wrong with it. So, I would like to sell it together because it already has a transducer installed. So just let me know. Um, you can like, subscribe, and put in the comments that you want it, and we can get together and I can um, either have you pick it up or ship it to you. But listen, y'all know what this is. We will still be on the water, and we will see you when we see you. Y'all stay tuned for us to get this thing all installed. See if we can't show y'all some transitioning fish. These fish now should actually be coming off the shallow beds and transitioning now to um, shallow brush piles. We're gonna see what's going on. Um, had a 97 degree day yesterday, supposed to be 94 today. I tried to get out of here while it was a little cloudy today. It's supposed no rain, just we got wind. So y'all stay tuned. We're gonna see if we can show y'all some fish. Not the size we want, y'all, but I mean, you know, we catch a fish. We're gonna figure out some size here in a second, y'all.
starts off pretty nice one out there at 12. At 12 feet, y'all, so I throw it to him. Um, today, just so you'll know, um, I'm using Uncle Stump Jig, my brother. Decent crop, y'all. We just gonna catch a limit for the people at the at the boat ramp that's not catching any fish. That's my plan today, you all. But I just wanna, you know, come out here, get a little bit more familiar with my live scope on a brush pile or two, you know, so we can catch a limit. Just still learning. I don't know everything, but I'm getting a hang of it and I'm figuring it out, y'all. So thank y'all for staying tuned as I figure it out. Um, today I'm fishing in um, 11 foot of water. The water temperature is 78 degrees. Um, this brush pile is in 11 foot of water. I'm gonna try some more shallow brush piles as well, just to see, but you know, this is the first brush up pile I got too. I've caught several small fish, several two what I call keeper fish. Um, we're gonna look for some bigger fish later on, but we're gonna work on a limit, and then we're gonna have some to give away. All right, y'all stay tuned. That should be a nice fish, y'all. I'm uh, looking right at him on top of the brain. All right, I decided to move five foot closer and uh, kind of pick them off off the branch, y'all. There he is. Nice fish, y'all. Again, this is that Uncle Stump jig, y'all. All right, y'all, I'm gonna see if I can't pick something off on these. Single
All right, YouTube, look, had a great day. Caught some beautiful fish on live scope. Um, still learning to use my live scope, but I tell you what, I am getting proficient at it. Not the best yet, not claiming to be the best, but I'm getting proficient at it. So, um, kept some nice fish. These fish were all seen on the graphics before I caught them. So that's pretty cool, guy. So look, you all know what this is. Until next time, this is Feathers and Family Outdoors. Y'all take care of yours.